I'm here today with uh, Tony Borg down at St. Joseph's Gym. Um, just to start off with, um, jump back to last weekend, you were down in Brangwyn Hall, Victoria Perkins, one of your fighters. What did you make of her performance, uh, obviously, on the night? And then what did you make of her going forward as well as a, as a boxer? Uh, disappointed on the night, just um, back and uh, just didn't ignite on the night. Didn't get out of uh, first gear, to be honest with you. Um, I had to look at another girl who boxed that night, uh, her reserve previous opponent. She boxed the same girl on the same night, she uh, didn't beat me. Um, just, uh, just didn't pull it off on the night. Um, there's just two fights now, one on one. So I just got to get back in the gym, bounce back and um, try and get a rematch. And then, uh, so Lindsay Bashinsky, her opponent, is now, I think, set up for a Commonwealth title um, shot in her next fight, if she'd won that fight against Victoria. Yeah. Was that a conscious decision to give Victoria such a difficult, or on paper could be seen as quite a difficult opponent so early on, or did you believe um, that was the right time for Victoria it, it to just, have that fight? What was up, what was up with it at the time? Um, she told me she was keen to have the fight. Um, um, that's what the manager uh, chose for her. I didn't I look into the category. There shouldn't have been any real... Um, any real signs of uh, uh, signs of a woody day? You know, with, with confidence in uh, Victoria going in and boxing her head off, really. And then moving on from Victoria on to another one of your fighters, Gavin, obviously fighting in um, Saudi Arabia coming up soon. How's the training with him going? Obviously out in Tenerife and then and then now back in back in Newport. Yeah, Gavin always trains under the tent. He, he'll give you his best way, whether he's training in a local gym or abroad. Um, uh, we've had some good sparring. Well, Southport moving on and. Uh, Dealing with the Southport stance. Um, we went out to Tenerife, as you said, great workout up there, plenty of sparring, good hill runs. Um, I'm ready to go to uh, Saudi now and do some business. And then for yourself, are you excited to head out to Saudi Arabia for that fight? Is that something that, you know, would be a nice little interesting yeah, thing for yourself? Yeah, I'm to Saudi, but, so uh, yeah, looking forward to it, good experience, and uh, hopefully a good win for Gavin there takes him up to another level. And then, obviously, there's there's a lot of boxers fight here out of out of St. Joseph's, and, and you've got the, the Nigerian pair in, in Tosin and um, Elizabeth. Talk to us about, we'll first start with Elizabeth. How high do you think her ceiling is as a boxer? Where do you think she can go in the near future? Obviously, she's had some, some big wins already in her career. Yeah, I think Elizabeth will go all the way. I think she can and will win the world title this year. She's very, very good, extremely uh, strong, um, powerful she hits hard, and she's Trains out, she's dedicated, and um, she wants it. She wants it badly. I think she'll win the world title this year. And then, obviously, on to Tosin as well. You said um, just earlier he's maybe a bit more of a joker. Maybe hasn't got quite got the uh, the hard work that uh, that Elizabeth has. But do you think you know if, if he does apply himself correctly, he could get to the very top, um, much as Elizabeth, or, or would he do so even even with his current attitude? Yeah, I think he's um, he's got the ability to go all the way. Obviously, just change his uh, career a little bit more. Um, Harder working in the gym, should we say? Uh, he's got all the tools there, just uh, needs to grasp. He's, he's found some of the sessions a bit harder than he expected, and where he'll shy away a little bit from going that a little bit extra. Elizabeth is the opposite; she'll do that a little bit extra every time you ask her. And then the third fighter that, that Sean Murray's um, looking after at the moment, you've got Jordan Withers, another one of your fighters, another guy really, really talented, as you've said. Um, I think Liam said earlier that, that he's a really talented. So everyone here clearly sees his talent. Yeah. But again, you said he's a bit of a joker. Is he someone that, that you're trying to get into that, that habit of, of going on and, and giving it all so that he can go on and be the very best that he clearly has the ability yeah, he's, to, he's, he's to do? He's turning the corner right now, actually. Um, yeah, I've got some good sessions out of him out in uh, Tenerife. He works really hard out there. He just it's, it's a little bit more of a game, like, you know, to get to the championship level at Super Middle like, you know. Um, if he turns that corner, I've got no doubt whatsoever, his skill sets, his power, his speed, um, take him all the way. And then his, his nickname, the Welsh Canelo, he goes for. I, I have to ask because I, I wanted to ask him himself. Have you got any idea of the, the, the reasoning behind that? Um, do you see him as someone like Canelo as a fighter, or, or do you know, is that just something um, he likes to think of himself as? It's a, bit, a little bit of both. You know, the, the, the ginger hair, the, the physique, the speed, accuracy. Um, it's a bit of everything, like, really. Um, I'm not sure who came up with the name first, but uh, it, it does make sense. You see, when you see him sparring and fighting, you know, uh, I can see why they're doing that, yeah, looking after him. And then, and then last one for me, um, you've mentioned in the past, I think, in interviews that you think Welsh small hall fights and these, these Welsh fights are really important for, for boxers, and, and obviously you guys are well-placed to, to, to be along with that. 
And we were speaking on the weekend to, to Daniel Francis of Vote Boxing about the Welsh titles and how important it is to maybe get the, some of those Welsh titles with names behind them and get those fights for them. Yeah. Do you think that's something you guys are working towards, you know, getting some of your fighters those Welsh titles? Um, or is it an issue with the with the one judge system being the referee that maybe puts you off of some of those as well? No, 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 no issue with the one judge being referee. Um, I think that'll, that'll come further down the line when we have the judges. But uh, we've won uh, numerous Welsh titles here, different weights, and we're, we're set out to do the same again this year. I, th I think it's um, definitely a stone we've got a uh, sort of hurdle we've got to cross to get to a, you know, get anywhere. You know, why not fight for the Welsh title and be champion of your own country? And do you think it, the Welsh title needs to start being recognised not as an area title and as a title like the English title is, like the Celtic title is? Because at well, the moment it's considered an area title. I actually asked that for a year ago. I brought it up with, um, you know, it's calling the Welsh area title. Wales is a country, you know, class is an area. It's not called, it's not the Scottish area. You know, we're, 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 we're Welsh is not an area, it's a, it's a country. It's supposed to be the Welsh you know, champion of the country. Lovely. Brilliant. Thanks.